know, the world is moving forward with innovation and technology. When you think about the marine operations, and I guess any, any operation, there are always challenges. So we strive to have a safer, more consistent operation across our entire fleet and across our entire operation. When you think about crews today, uh, as opposed to two decades ago, they're, they're different people, there are different skill sets, etc. The onus is on management to ensure we have a safe, consistent operation that provides a high level of service to our customers. Um, two things come out of innovation and innovating towards an automated system. Now let me stop there. We don't see an empty wheelhouse. We see officers monitoring automated equipment that are navigating our vessels, but all to a consistent standard. So what you get from that is a safe operation. It's consistent. And you also bring each officer to the same level. And so if you calibrate your system to the best uh, operation by a specific officer in a specific part of your, your business, you effectively move the entire group up to that level. ASC chose Wartzilla um, really after going through a selection process. Uh, we visited a number of marine shows, talked to a number of equipment, marine equipment and, and navigational equipment providers. Um, admittedly, we were sort of pushing the envelope on timing. One group just never ever envisioned it. Another group uh, said, to be honest, we're about two to three years off. Uh, Vartziller were really the only group that said, we can put this together for you. And then on top of that, uh, inside of the Vartzilla organization, they pulled in a very, at a very collaborative level, they pulled in um, resources from different uh, places in the organization, because they're a large organization and have these resources, that compiled the technology that allowed them to put this together. It wasn't together as a package prior to this, so actually Wartzilla used resources in a very, very collaborative approach to compile um, what were a, a number of different pieces into a single working component, if you will. But then on top of that, because we had the extra requirement of a backup system, which was terrestrial base, they then looked at other resources in our organization and developed a very reliable um, terrestrial base system that would back up when the, the satellite system would be ghosted around bridges or buildings, it would back up and take control of the vessel. And so really we have um, an officer in the wheelhouse, an automated system that's satellite based, and a terrestrial system as a backup system. So there are, there are three systems, if you can include the officer, that are actually monitoring or navigating the vessel in the wheelhouse. It is very safe. Wartzilla's Smart Move Suite um, solves a, a number of issues. Uh, safety is always top of mind. Providing a high level consistently, high level of service for our customers is always top of mind. And so the Smart Move suite brings us to that level. We have confidence in the technology. We have confidence in Wartzilla's ability to develop and, and move forward with this. We will use it on our vessels, navigating in tight waterways and, and even open water. Open water would be much easier. A tight waterway requires a much more uh, concise navigational control. Um, one thing that Wartzilla did for us was, um, particularly when you're in a tight waterway and you're around buildings and bridges, satellites can be ghosted, you can lose signals. At that point you're losing control or the automation system has lost control of your vessel and that's unacceptable. And so Wartzilla actually developed and implemented and, and are commissioning a, a terrestrial based system which is a backup system to the satellite system. So essentially we have two systems on board. Once the satellite is ghosted, or if that happens, the terrestrial system takes over and retains control of the vessel in a safe, consistent operation. I see these technologies uh, developing, uh, as all technology develop throughout the marketplace. Um, you know, if you look at the progression of innovation in the marine business, and indeed every business, technology moves forward. Um, is this going to be a competitive advantage? Not really in the long term. I, I think what it's going to do is provide uh, another tool for the industry to operate in a more safer manner. 
and reduce accidents, providing a consistent high level of service throughout the entire customer, customer base. That is not a bad thing for any industry. So I see this spreading across the industry. I see it spreading um, certainly in areas where uh, there are tight navigational areas and rivers around, around the globe that can help uh, operators reduce the number of accidents and operate more efficiently. You know, throughout this process, it's been my observation that Wartzilla um, really called upon all of its resources, uh, which acted in a very, very collaborative way. There were a number of meetings. Um, you know, Wartzilla didn't really try and sell us a package they had. Uh, they actually pulled together the resources and said, right, this is what the customer needs, this is what the customer is looking for, and they customized a package and a suite of different products and, in fact, even developed uh, the terrestrial system because of a specific need we had. Um, that's uh, often not the case within technical companies. I would compliment Wartzilla in their ability to pull together a lot of very bright people that are technically competent uh, to work collaboratively and um, yeah, develop a system that is more efficient from a customer's perspective in our, our specific operation. And so um, yeah, congratulations to Wartzilla.